My name is Wes Lowe. I'm an owner and uh, director of EV sales at Kingsburg Truck Center. In California, um, high priority fleets are fleets with 50 or more trucks in their fleet or 50 million or more in revenue. Starting 2024, 100% of their purchases have to be electric or they can elect to go to a milestone option. Workhorse has brackets that weld right onto the frame. So whether we're installing a flatbed or a box truck, it's very easy to install the body. And they also provide a power cable with its own power source and ground that we hook up directly to the Tommy Gate. I actually reached out to our Tommy Gate rep and uh, he was on board to help us out and on figuring the whole EV set up. The, uh, the bigger aluminum gate on the box truck, it's almost a standard for the school districts. They like the auto close feature where they don't have to lift up the gate. And then the support side is, is awesome with Tommy Gate. All the EVs that we have have a 12 volt accessory, so anything that runs off the 12 volt battery, like, like a Tommy gate, is simple and easy. The draw that accessories have on the bigger batteries is minimal. The demo with City of Los Angeles, we did about 30 cycles with the lift gate. We ran the air conditioning all day. We drove 104 miles, and uh, we still had about 35% state of charge left when we were done. My name is Andy Samuelson, and I'm a salesman with Kingsburg Truck Center. I started back in the shop as a detailer and work my way through to be a fabricator, doing the welding and upfitting for these guys. Um, I installed a lot of Tommy gates myself, everything from G2s to rail gates and tuck unders. My experience installing Tommy gates is super simple. The aluminum ones are extremely light, easy to move around. If it's a steel gate, they weld in super easy, um, just straight to the platform and all the parts come with it. There's no calling for extra parts or anything like that. 